crop plants have numerous beneficial, useful traits. To identify those traits, large numbers of genetically different plant lines are grown for comparative evaluation. At IPK, phenotyping in the field is done using a new mobile technology, the A Grover. It's a soil preserving, lightweight rover that allows the assessment of plant traits of several hundred lines in the field. Within just a few hours, and at multiple times over the course of one growing season. The research focus is on the plant's nutritional state regarding macronutrients such as nitrogen, potassium and phosphor and on the plants that utilize them particularly efficiently. A hyperspectral sensor scans the plants in a wide wavelength range including near infrared light so a big advantage of the hyperspectral measurement lies in the precision of the measurement. So with the hyperspectral camera we are able to cover a range of wavelengths that is about sixfold larger than that of the, of the human eye. In addition, we are now independent of the weather conditions because we have now a shadow box and this shadow box is illuminated inside so that the reflection of the light by the different genotypes is standardized and this allows us a direct comparison of the components from one genotype to another or from one nutritional condition to another condition. Repositioning of the sensor enables scanning the plants from the sides at various heights. The results show how nutrients are distributed throughout a single plant. For example, Nitrogen-containing substances in the leaves will reflect red light, the proportion of which is quantitatively analysed. Another goal of the measurements with the hyperspectral camera and the agrover is to select genotypes that are more resource efficient. That means we try to select those genotypes which are able to efficiently translocate nutrients from older leaves to younger leaves and thereby allow production systems that require less input of fertilizers into the production systems. <laughs>